Good morning, Oliver here from Mansell McTaggart Estate Agents. You join me outside this gorgeous detached family home on a private road known as the Coopers in Itchenfield today, here to come and see this property which is known as Timbers. This one is an absolute gem, can't wait to show you this inside and out, so let's go and have a look around. Okay, so this is the Coopers, as I mentioned, private road, just a handful of substantial detached homes, all of which are different in their shape and design. The house we're coming to see is right at the end of the cul-de-sac. It's known as Timbers, it's number six, and it's just coming into view now. So location-wise, we're, Mitchinfield sits about two, three miles to the north of Billingshurst Village, where there's obviously a a good high street with a range of shops, facilities, local Sainsbury's. There's actually recently, uh, just a couple of miles away, uh, been installed a little supermarket and Costa drive through, which is uh, quite handy. And uh, you're also just about a mile or so away from Barnes Green, um, which is a lovely little village where there's a nice pub, local store and primary school. Lots of independent schools and private schools in the area and uh, just a really great spot to live if you enjoy semi-rural living. And as you can see, you've got this amazing plot to the front. Just wraps beautifully around the house. It's a really mature garden, very interesting. The owners bought the property from new when it was built approximately 52 years ago. And they the garden for them has been a labour of love over the years. It really is fabulous, as you can see. I'll just walk you up to the northern edge. So I'm just reaching the perimeter now. There you go, nice spot to look back on the property. And the house obviously lends itself to redevelopment, extending. There have been people in the road that have actually started from scratch, knocked the original house down and built brand new. up to this attractive rockery which again has got an abundance of plants as I said it's a really interesting garden so just coming to the southern edge now but there is Additional patio. Again, just off the conservatory area there. And that in turn takes us back to the front. And of course, you've got this extensive driveway. So that gives you an idea of the front of the house. So let's pop inside, have a proper look around. Okay, so here we are inside. As you can see, we enter into substantial reception hall. You've got parquet flooring that runs pretty much throughout the ground floor. Hall widening to the staircase leading up to the first floor. Lovely door framed by those two nice windows. First door we come to is the traditional home office study. Okay. Continuation of that parquet flooring. It's a nice sized room and actually got a lovely view over the front driveway. Across the hall, 
set of glazed doors leading to the sitting room. Which actually extends. Again, you've got a nice bay window just overlooking the front. The feature fireplace there. As you can see, that needs leads neatly through this arch into the dining room. In the far corner there, you can see the vendors had a lift installed. Obviously that could be easily removed if required. And beyond the dining room, got a lovely conservatory which beautifully frames the garden. And back into the dining room, we lead into the kitchen. You've got this nice breakfast bar. Again, the view through the shutters onto the garden. There's actually a handy utility off here as well. And finally on the ground floor, we have downstairs WC. So leading upstairs, Onto the landing, generous window to the side. I'll just take into the first bedroom. All of the bedrooms are a good size. So you can see this one currently used as an ironing room. There is a fitted double cupboard. This one with a view to the front. Straight across the hall. And as you can see, generous double. Again, with fitted wardrobes. This enjoying a view to the rear. Leading down the hall, come to the family bathroom. As you can see, white suite there. There is a shower also over the bath. Next bedroom we come to is the principal bedroom. You can see here where the lift now comes out from the dining room downstairs. Again, substantial bank of fitted wardrobes here. And this one with the benefit of the ensuite, which has got a walk in shower room. Two further bedrooms to show you. So again, have a double bedroom here. Again, with fitted wardrobes and this one with the view over the front driveway. And the fifth final bedroom Again, you can see a very generous double room as well. Also with the fitted wardrobes. And this one also enjoying the view to the front. And then leading into the garage. So when the property was built, this would have been called a three car garage. And I'll show you why. So you see easily enough room to fit two cars side by side but there is this recess alcove, which probably when the house was built would have fitted a small mini, but I think let's call it a double garage is probably most appropriate. But of course, power and light in here as well. So that is Timbers. I hope you agree, absolutely fabulous opportunity, an amazing detached family home with huge potential. 
hope you like what you see, but of course if you have any questions or would like to know more, please don't hesitate to give us a call.